Welcome to the halls of murder. Well, this painting. Welcome, Reaper Mini fans. Today we have a fantastic miniature. We have the Fire Demon. This was sculpted by Bob Ollie. Bob Ollie is my all time favourite sculptor for miniatures. He is my, well, he's the best in my opinion. Um, his work is classic and old school, and his style is just how I imagined uh, fantasy as a young boy. Um, all, all his sculptures are. Um, how I grew up with Dungeons and Dragons and that era where the, the sculpts were based on old school fantasy. Um, so I've got a big place in my heart for Bob Ollie sculpts. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so we'll be doing this today as a time lapse. I am going to be using some MSP Black Primer on this miniature at the beginning. Um, we've also got the four scale here to give you a size on how big this miniature is. So what we'll be doing today is I'll, uh, I'll do the time lapse video and then once the time lapse video is finished I'll have a little chat about how we got on with this miniature. But I'm going for a basic dry brushing effects on all the miniature today. It should be quite a simple paint um, and I just want to show you the time lapse so you can see how I get on. Um, as for the flames we'll be just going over the sword with some whites and add in some nice yellow, ink, yellow orange ink wash to get that lovely effect going for the fire. Um, so let's make a start. I will see you at the end of the video.
Okay, the colours I'm using for today's paint are coal black and we've got dragon black by MSP. We've got dragon white and we've got for our two reds, we're using goy red and holly berry. Um, and they were my two for the dry brushing of the wings. And for the base for making the lava, I used dragon white first and I've, I used a contrast uh, paint by Games Workshop for that lava effect and for the flames. This is absolutely amazing stuff. I'm really, really happy with that ink wash. And of course, we've got our basic brown ink wash and our black ink wash. Um, the brown ink wash is for like your teeth and the bones. And you've got your black ink wash, which I used for the silver parts. And for the silver today, I've used one of my old Games Workshop hex pots paints. This is <laughs> over 20 years old now and it still works. Um, and this is for edging, highlighting the metal areas. And of course, primer paint for all your metal areas too. Um, and the uh, Pale Saffron by MSP is what I used for the uh, lighting effects on the skin. So that was dry brushed onto the skin by the miniature. And that is what I used to give that light source. So there we are, that's the paints I used for today. So here is the finished Fire Demon, absolutely beautiful. As you can see, I've added some light source effects around the face, arms and the legs. With the lava, I've made it so the light source is going onto the bottom of the kneecaps. On the sword, you've got the side of the face, so and on the chest and the arms. Um, it's only a little bit of light source, but it's just enough to give a little bit extra to that miniature. So there we are. This is the Fire Demon by Reaper Miniatures. If you enjoy what I'm doing, then please hit that sub button. If you want to support the channel, then please become my patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So there we are. Until next time. Brushes, prime your models, and join murder.